My transaction with Mauricio Ortega started out that he registered for one of our auctions and uh, was the winning bidder on a game used uh, Joe Montana jersey, rookie era, so early in Montana's career. Um, he paid in full, um, asked me through Facebook Messenger to meet him out at the airport to deliver the goods after the uh, funds had cleared. And quite honestly, it was much easier than shipping to Mexico. So I drove out and met him in the passenger pickup line and, and had a four or five minute conversation with him. At that time, he uh, kind of spoke some you know, broken English and asked me if I wanted a couple items. Uh, and one of them was a, an item we auctioned was a game used Patrick Ewing jersey. Uh, at that point, uh, he got out of the car and went and got back on a flight to Mexico City. He did ask me about the Von Miller helmet. He asked me what I thought a Von Miller helmet from Super Bowl 50 game used was worth. I told him I wasn't quite sure, and then he told me he uh, was in possession of that item. Did he seem like he had some familiarity with these types of... of Maybe to a degree, but not, uh, not nearly as advanced as a lot of collectors that we deal with. Exactly. Seemingly a, a bit of a novice and uh, kind of, uh, you know, he had many game used jerseys, but uh, he didn't exactly tell me how he uh, came across those. He shows me a lot of memorabilia, like a helmet with all the autograph of the MVPs of almost all the Super Bowls. I did, I heard about the jersey actually getting on a flight to come from Denver to come down to Phoenix and uh, I had some business I had to do. I, I interestingly saw it on Facebook getting onto the flight and uh, knew that somebody from Mexico had, uh, had possession of it and, and just kind of jokingly thought what if it was him and, and then later in the day I actually found out that it in fact was him. Yes, it, it's embarrassing because uh, you know the image of the Mexicans in in U.S. because the president, it's like a, not a, a good people. And right now, the image for the Mexicans in the U.S. it's even worse.